Get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. OK, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open-ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right so that is it, that's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players, and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to
connect and join the game. The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening. While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below eight seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open-ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right so that is it, that's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, 
I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing.
Yeah, so very good evening to you guys. Welcome to our Thursday night quiz. I'm your host, John O'Connor, and it is a very good evening to you as we continue these quarantine quizzes. Good to have you with us. 65 plus players so far connected and ready to do battle for tonight's cash prize. We'll give it another couple of minutes before we begin. It's good to have you here with us. Is that a week gone already? I think so. Okay, so a few little mentions before we um, head out there and do some quiz questions. Uh, some of the other quizzes we have lined up for this weekend, starting with tomorrow Friday for Passage East Hurling Club. They're hosting a free quiz. Okay, so a free quiz tomorrow night from 8 p.m. And uh, we got 80 questions. I think they've given me about 10 questions to do with Passage Hurling. Bit of fun for those, but it's a free quiz. So you may as well tag along and play if you like. That's, as I said, at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Then on Saturday night, it's the Abbey side and Battle of the Corti. Uh, they're also having their fundraising quiz on Saturday. That one is starting at 7.15 p.m. And it's uh, 10 euros per team that wants to take part in that. The, uh, the description of the post that they're, they're using in the thumbnail has all the phone numbers, contact details you need if you want to purchase a pin from those. That's available uh, on the live stream thumbnail. So, uh, last week's winners. Who have we? We had uh, Team 42, based in Tremor, I believe. They won it last week. Second place was the Insanitizers, followed by Max Power. They were the top three teams last Thursday night. Uh, we have 80 teams plus now at the moment, ready to go here. Let's give them another minute. I know there's still people purchasing the pin at the moment. Which is good news for everybody because uh, that increases the prize money as well. Okay, so some uh, someone just messaged there to say they can't see their team name. I mean, there's a lot of team names here. We'd have to scroll down show them all to you but not to worry wait for the game to start uh, any shout outs at all do uh, let us know let's try and open up the uh, live chat here on YouTube if there's anyone wants me to shout out an old mention or a happy birthday to someone happy to do that okay so we're going to begin we have uh, as i said 80 questions you may say you might see 83 coming up here we have three poll uh, questions just a bit of feedback on the quizzes that we might be asking you as the night goes on if you could give us a an honest opinion and see how we're going with these um yeah looking forward to this one tonight good mixed bag there you may have received also a newsletter from us this morning I uh, hope you don't mind, and if you don't want those, there's a, an unsubscribe button at the bottom of the email. But we are previewing a few of the questions that we will be giving you later that evening. And a few hints, tips, and tricks along the way. Okay, it's more of a reminder. You get that on the Thursday morning, folks. And you can unsubscribe quite easily from it if you don't want to get it. Okay, so uh, the very best of luck to everybody tonight. Uh, 80 questions. We'll take a break after every 20 uh, five minute break there'll be a countdown on the screen for that and uh, you can top up those drinks run to the bathroom do what it is you need to do and we'll be back with the following questions then okay so without further ado we're going to crack on and let's see how you get on with this one tonight here we go first one is in fact i think a poll question uh what we're asking here is if it's your first thursday night quiz with us or if it's not, now there's no points up for grabs here, obviously. So is this quiz your first Thursday night quiz with us? Yes or no? Just a little bit of feedback, that's all we need. It's quite it's quite unusual doing these online quizzes. I'm used to doing them in pubs. Uh, when you're on your own, it's hard to know how we're going. So these kind of questions will pop up, folks, from time to time. Okay, 78% of you playing tonight have played this Thursday night quiz. So 22% of you, this is your first time playing. Good to know. Right, so let's crack on with some of those serious style questions. First letter of your answer, you will hear me say that a lot tonight. All we need is the first letter of your answer. Okay. Fashion models parade on which raised platform? First letter of your answer, that's all we need. 
30 seconds will be allowed for each question. Please don't allow it to get below eight seconds on your end and to allow for the lag time delay, being a live stream and all that. Looks good so far. Uh, must take off the top stuff up here so you can see the question. Here we go. Okay, a few different answers coming in for this one. Can't walk will do just fine. Okay, 67 of those correctly answered. On my screen here, you will see the top five performing teams. On your bottom right-hand corner of your app, you'll see your scores, okay? We'll mention a few teams as we go through the evening. Let's move on to question three. This is multiple choice. Which English footballer married Colleen McLaughlin in 2008? Was it David Beckham, Wayne Rooney, Gareth Bale, Jamie Redknapp? Seventy-eight correct answers. Five actually thought it was Jamie Redknapp. Correct answer: Wayne Rooney. Principal in the lead. Question number four. Here we go. First out of your answer. In astrology, the sign of Cancer is ruled by which of the four basic elements? First out of your answer, folks. Eighty-two locked in their answer. It is W. Water is the correct answer. Perfect. That changes things at the top. Who was in the lead? Just dropped off entirely in the top five. Here's question five. Multiple. No, sorry. First letter of your answer. In fact, the petroleum company Texaco was originally in what U.S. state? The petroleum company Texaco was originally in what U.S. state? First letter, that's all we need for these ones, folks. Okay, correct answer, it is Texas, correct answer. Okay, question six, here we go. On the pH scale, what number represents neutral? On the pH scale, what number represents neutral? Okay, let's have a look at the answers. Correct answer here. It is seven. Fifty correct answers. Principal back second place. Here is question seven. Multiple choice. How much did Manchester United pay for Roy Keane? Is it two million? Is it three point seven five million? Is it seven million or is it ten million? So how much did Manchester United pay for Roy Keane? 2 million, 3.75, is it 7 million or 10 million? Yeah. 
correct answer 56 if you had it 3.75 million as we mentioned in our preview this morning in the email that we'd have some Manchester United questions here is question number eight first letter the 2007 film Troy centers on what legendary conflict? I need the first letter of your answer. The 2004 film Troy, it centers on what legendary conflict? First letter. Correct answer, it is the Trojan War. 50 correct answers. Okay, question number nine. First letter of your answer. The city of Dubrovnik is in what country? Give me the first letter of your answer. City of Dubrovnik, it's in what country? First letter. Quite a few different answers coming in here. It is C, Croatia, and 70 correct answers. Okay, question 10, first letter. First letter, first name. Who is this Simpsons character? First letter, first name. Who is this Simpsons character? Two locked in their answer. It's uh, Homer Simpson's long lost stepbrother. Is it Herbert Powell? Is the correct answer? 49 correct answers here. Okay, multiple choice. Question 11. How much does the average adult human brain weigh? Three pounds, six pounds, nine pounds, 12 pounds. So how much does the average adult human brain weigh? Twenty-nine correct answers. Three pounds. Eight teams said twelve pounds. <laughs> You'd be dragging the thing on the ground. Okay. Uh, the Insanitizers is back with an answer streak of three, but they're not in the top five. At least not yet. Question twelve. Iceborg was the nickname of which tennis star? First letter, first name. Iceborg was the nickname of which tennis star? Correct answer. Bjorn Berg is the correct answer. How many had it? 65 of you. Clue in the question. Question 13. Who runs the orphanage in the musical Annie? Miss 
what? First letter of your answer. Who runs the orphanage in the musical Annie? Miss what? Eighty-three locked in their answer. Let's have a look at them. Across the board, you can see the answer there, fully spelt out. H, Miss Hannigan. Fifty-four correct answers. Pod is the highest climber. Pronounceable in the lead. Here is question fourteen. Multiple choice. In what century did Saint Francis of Assisi die? In what century? Thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, or sixteenth? Twenty-five correct answers with the thirteenth century. Okay, question fifteen now. First letter of your answer. The tomb of which musician is at Nine Mile Village in Jamaica? Jamaica has been mentioned in our uh, newsletter. So, the tomb of which musician? First letter, first name is at Nine Mile Village in Jamaica. Correct answer here, it is Bob Marley. 82 correct answers. Okay, let's head for question 16. First letter. Which or what sport features in the documentary Facing Ali? First letter of your answer. What sport features in the documentary Facing Ali? Correct answer here, it is boxing, Muhammad Ali, I guess. Yes, 83 correct answers. Quisitor's highest climber here. Question 17. What domestic fuel might be kept in a bunker or scuttle? So what domestic fuel? First letter, that's all we need. Okay, correct answer here, it is C for coal. Okay, so question 18, multiple choice. Which of these distances is the longest? Which of these distances is the longest? Is it one mile, 100,000 centimeters, two kilometers or 2,000 yards? Which of these distances is the longest? Forty-six correct answers here with two kilometers. Well done. 
Okay, question 19. Cubes, lubes, uh, the official lubricant of what Hungarian toy? First letter of your answer. Cubes, lubes is the official lubricant of what Hungarian toy? Okay, correct answer here. It is or Rubik's Cube is the correct answer. 53 of you answered correctly. Top five staying as they were. Here's question to find T. What is the name of this country? All I need is the first letter of your answer. What's the name of this country? Alright, let's take a look at these answers here. It's A. Argentina. 27 correct answers. Okay, that's uh, after breaking 11 people's winning streak on that one. Let's play one more before we take a short break. Here we go. The greater Swiss mountain dog originated in what mountain range? Give me the first letter of that mountain range. The greater Swiss mountain dog originated in what mountain range? Correct answer here. It is the Alps. 71 answered correctly. Okay, so that is the scoreboard after round one, folks. Uh, have a look at your scores on the bottom right-hand corner, and you will see how much you have to do to catch up these leaders. We're going to take a short break, folks. When we come back, we have the questions to round two and the next 20 questions. Dacia Weddings. Established in 2017, we are Waterford's largest wedding supplier. Dacia Weddings is a family-run business. We pride ourselves on providing the highest quality services for your wedding. for weddings of all sizes and have a large range of services. We offer selfie mirrors, LED dance floors, ceremony decor, mood lighting and DJs for your big day. Your weddings, making your wedding special.
Okay, so folks, if you're all set and ready, we're going to continue with our quiz now and uh, give you the next 20 questions. Pronounceable in the lead. Chardin McDennis in second. Easy Company in third. LBW is in fourth. And the Kinnies in fifth. Right, so on we continue. First letter of your answer. Here we go. You cannot serve God and mammon. That is a quote from what religious text? Broadly speaking, first letter of your answer. All right, let's have a look at the answers we've received here. Correct answer, it is B, the Bible. Okay, that changes things. LBW just moved into third with that one. Multiple choice, question 23. Lamp working is a branch of what handicraft? Is it pottery? basket weaving or glass blowing Seventy correct answers. Glass blowing is the correct answer. Top five saying as they were. Nicholas making a comeback three in a row. First letter of your answer. What role did Frank Goshen play in the 1960s TV series of Batman? First letter of your answer. First letter. Correct answer here, it is. Or for the Riddler, I'm sure a few people put in or for Robin. Who knows? Here's uh, Movers here, Easy Company. I've just uh, overtaken LBW to third. Multiple choice. How only yours was a hit album for which act was it Sisters of Mercy, Shakespeare's sister or Sister Sledge? Hormonally Yours was a hit album for which act? Sisters of Mercy. Shakespeare's sister. Sister Sledge. Fifty-three correct answers with Shakespeare's sister. Good answers. Well done. Here we go. Question 26. First letter. Something that exists for longer than expected is said to live on borrowed what? First letter of your answer. Something that exists for longer than expected is said to live on borrowed what? Okay, someone put an I in there for some reason. Borrowed time. 83 correct answers. More points the faster you answer, of course. Here's multiple choice. Question 27. 
What decade is the hit She's Out of My Life by Michael Jackson from? Is it the 1970s, the 1980s, the 1990s, or the noughties? So what decade is the hit She's Out of My Life by Michael Jackson from? 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties. As mentioned in the newsletter, Michael Jackson. Forty-five correct answers. The eighties. Okay, so first letter of your answer. Whose logo is this? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is BP, BP, 34 correct answers. Multiple choice here. Albert Einstein was born in what century? Options are 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Albert Einstein was born in what century? The 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Fifty-five correct answers, the nineteenth century. Question thirty is multiple choice. Which of these is the name of a famous film company? Is it 17th century rabbit, 18th century chicken, 19th century wolf, 20th century fox? Eighty-four answering correctly with twentieth century fox. Okay, easy company gone into second place here. First letter of your answer. In nineteen ninety-two, which entrepreneur sold Virgin Records for one billion dollars? First letter, first name. Correct answer here, it is Richard, Richard Branson. 74 correct answers. Question 32, multiple choice. The Venn diagram, in a Venn diagram, which of these would appear in the insertion of the sets? Multiples of three and even numbers, three, six, nine, or 12. correct answers with six lbw has jumped into second place with this one 
multiple choice. In the TV show Countdown, how many points are awarded for solving the conundrum? Is it 8, 10, 12 or 14? In the TV show Countdown, how many points are awarded for solving the conundrum? 8, 10, 12, 14. Fifty-four correct answers with ten. Okay, let's move on. Multiple choice. Question thirty-four. In the tragic Ricky Valens song "Tell Laura I Love Her," the singer enters what sort of race? Is it stock car, steeplechase? Is it speedboat? Okay, so 65 answering correctly with stock car. Uh, the Kinney's not one of the teams to answer that correctly. Here's question 35. Multiple choice, is it? Yep. To be outmaneuvered by an opponent is to be on the back what? Is it hand, foot, leg, head? Eighty great answers on the back foot. Three of you on the back hand, and one of you on the back leg. All right, question number thirty-six, multiple choice. In the nineteen eighties, World Championship boxing matches were shortened to twelve rounds, but from how many? Was it fifteen, eighteen, twenty, or twenty-two? So, in the nineteen eighties, World Championship boxing matches were shortened to twelve rounds. From how many? Okay, um, 72 correct answers with 15. One team saying it was 22 rounds. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay, question uh, 37, multiple choice. How long is NFL football field now not counting the end zones? Is it 20 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, 300 yards? So how long is an NFL football field not counting the end zones? 20, 50, 100, 300 yards. Sixty-one correct answers here with one hundred yards. Nicholas moved into uh, fifth place here. Question thirty-eight, first letter. What names are given to a cycle with only one wheel? First letter of your answer.
Correct answer here. Unicycle. How many had it right? 79 of you. Six players have reached an answer streak of five in a row. Here's question 39. Whose logo is this? First letter of your answer. Whose logo is this? First letter. The faster you submit, the more points you earn. Okay, uh, three different answers, one of them right. Playboy, 81 correct answers. First out of your answer. Beef chow fun is a dish from what Asian country? First letter of that country, please. Beef chow fun, it's a dish from what Asian country? Correct answer here, it is China. 63 correct answers. Let's get one more before we take our halftime five minute break here. The word for cash. What word for cash is the title of a Martin Amos novel? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is money. 40 of you answered it correctly. Let's have a look at the halftime scores. They are as follows. We're gonna take a five minute break here, folks. And when we come back, we have the questions to part three of tonight's quiz. We also have the issue of the Michael Jackson song. So we'll be putting that to the test in the report later on tonight as well. Chop up those drinks, folks. We're back soon with the questions to round three.
our quiz, the third part in tonight's quiz. Hope you're getting on well and you're enjoying it so far. We're going to give you the next 20 questions back to back. Here we go. Question 42, they say. How much was Manchester United Football Club sold for in 1989? Was it 12 million, 20 million, 24 million, 32 million? Thirty-four correct answers. Twenty million is the correct answer. Okay, question forty-three. First letter of your answer. Bomb hugger is a work by which British graffiti artist. First letter of your answer. Bomb hugger is a work by which British graffiti artist. Okay, let's have a look. It is B. Bank ski is the correct answer. 68 of you answered correctly. Well done. Polly White Wing is back with an answer streak of three. Here's question 44. First letter. Dogs and cats wear collars to kill what insect parasite? First letter of your answer. Correct answer, it is fleas. How many had it right? 76. Question 45, multiple choice. According to the Bible, on what day did God make the sun, moon and stars? Was it the first, the second, the third or the fourth day? According to the Bible, on what day did God make the sun, moon and stars? First, second, third, fourth. correct answers on the fourth day is the correct answer Nicholas moved into uh, fourth place with this answer first letter of your answer here we go how many pounds are there in a stone how many pounds are there in a stone using digits folks digit answer only Correct answer here, it is 14, 75 teams answering correctly. Quizly Bears back with an answer streak of three. Here's question 47, multiple choice. On a car, what color are the brake lights? As fast as you can, folks. Blue, red, white, or orange?
Correct answer. It is red. 13 of you went with the color, I'd say, accidentally. Uh, that was the thinking behind that. 13 of you went for it. Okay, uh, we're moving on. Question 48, first letter. What part of the body is the subject of the magazine infringe? First letter of your answer. What part of the body is the subject of the magazine infringe? All right, correct answer here. It is hair. Seven, 65, should I say, answering correctly. And uh, some movers in the top five. Here's question 49. Karuba, it's a Jamaican brand, but of what type of alcoholic spirits? Karuba is a Jamaican brand of what alcoholic spirits? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, being Jamaican, safe bet to go with rum. 78 correct answers. The B Sharps are back with an answer streak of three. Multiple choice. What is the diameter of a CD? Is it four centimeters, 15 centimeters, 12 centimeters, or nine? Forty-three correct answers with twelve centimeters. Okay, question fifty-one. First letter. King Kong comes from what fictional island? First letter. King Kong comes from what fictional island? Correct answer here, it is Skull Island, 53 correct answers. Okay, question 52, first set of your answer. In the musical Greece, what is Danny's surname? First set of your answer. In the musical Greece, what is Danny's surname? Correct answer here is Zuko. 52 correct answers. 10 players just hit an answer streak of 7 correct answers in a row. 53. Question 53. In mammals, gestation occurs in what organ? Mammals, gestation occurs in what organ? First letter of your answer.
Correct answer here, it is uterus. How many had it right? 19. Posh into fifth place. Here is question 54. Who is this Harry Potter character? First letter, first name. Who is this Harry Potter character? Take a look at these answers. It is C5. What is the Spanish word for Spanish? First letter of your answer. What's the Spanish word for Spanish? Okay, let's have a look at your answers. Espanol is the correct answer. E, how many had it? 82 correct answers. Okay, question 56, multiple choice. The novel To Kill a Mockingbird is set in what decade? 30s, 40s, 50s or 60s? So the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, it's set in what decade? 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s. <laughs> 33 correct answers with the 30s. Top five staying as they are. 17 players have reached an answer streak of three. Question 57. A scream queen is an actress in films of what genre? First letter of the genre, please. A scream queen is an actress in films of what genre? Correct answer here are 68 correct answers. Apollo's back in the game three in a row. Question 58. Simran, that is a meaning of meditation in what Indian religion? Simran, it's, it's a meaning of meditation in what Indian religion? First letter of that religion, please. Correct answer here, it is S. Sikhism is the correct answer. Three answered correctly. Okay, 14 players lost their answer streak here on that one. First letter of your answer. What species of bird features in the song Over the Rainbow? First letter of your answer. What species of bird features in the song Over the Rainbow?
<clears throat> correct answer here it is bluebirds 63 correct answer Kenny's had answer streak of 15 correct answers in a row they had sick as them then first set of your answer question 60 whose flag is this first set of your answer whose flag is this Let's have a look at your answers. It is Ukraine. How many had it right? 43 of you. Well done. MJ is the highest climber here. Let's get one more question before we take our final break. Multiple choice. Who had a number one in 2014 with It's My Birthday? Calvin Harris, Stevie Wonder, Will I Am, Britney Spears. Forty-eight correct answers with Will I Am. Well done. Scoreboard on the screen, folks. Let's take our final five-minute break of the evening. When we come back, we have the questions uh, to the last part in tonight's quiz uh, round four. You can call it.
Okay, so folks, we're back uh, with the final section in tonight's quiz. Hope you're enjoying it so far. 20 questions or so ready to go. Here we are. What we got? Question 62, first letter of your answer. Uh, reprimanding others, people say they will have your guts for what? First letter of your answer. And reprimanding others, people say they will have your guts for what? Guts for garters. Correct answer. How many had it? 72 correct answers. Easy copy. Not one of the teams to answer that one correctly. Here's question 63. Multiple choice. Parsnips are closely related to what other vegetable is it? Marrow? Is it carrot? Is it spinach? Or is it mushrooms? Correct answer here, it is uh, Carrot. Eight teams went with Marrow. All right, uh, that moves LBW. Last week's winner is into second place. They bought themselves this week, LBW, I think. Uh, here's question 64. Who is this Simpsons character? First letter, first name. We mentioned we'd have an extra Simpson or two question tonight. In fact, a couple of weeks' time, we're going to be doing a full quiz on all things The Simpsons. Correct answer, as you can see there, it is C. Kirk Carson is the correct answer. The Kidneys move back into fifth place here. Here's question 65, multiple choice. Which of these is a small, irregular design uh, of broken check on fabric? Is it Hound's Tooth, Mutt's Tooth, or Bow Wow Tooth? Seventy correct answers. Pounds tooth. Correct answer. Well done. Skip filler is back in the game. Answer streak of three in a row. Here's question sixty-six. Who is this? Okay, it's going to be slowly revealing. So first letter, first name. Who is this? When you've worked it out, not as many points up for grabs on these ones. First letter, first name. Who is this? Only 61 of you got uh, an answer in in time. Uh, correct answer, it is Marilyn Brando's. The correct answer, 32 correct answers. Second place, not getting that one. Multiple choice, question 67. The Venus flytrap plant, it's native to which continent? Asia, Africa, Europe, North America. The Venus flytrap plant, it's native to which continent? Asia, Africa, Europe, North America.
26 correct answers here with North America. Uh, third place, not getting this one correct. Here's question 68, multiple choice. Which of the Bee Gees was not a twin? Barry, Robin, Morris. Which of the Bee Gees was not a twin? Barry, Robin, Morris. Thirty-seven correct answers with Barry. What's do better is uh, the highest climber. Pronounceable in the lead still. LBW hot on their heels. Question sixty-nine. Multiple choice. In Greek mythology, which group of females had a name meaning snatchers? Is it the Harpies? Is it the Gorgons? Or is it the Furies? Twenty-six correct answers with the Gorgons. Question seventy. First letter of your answer. In maths, what type of number has a numerator over a denominator? First letter of your answer. Eighty-two locked in their answers. It's definitely not serious, sleepy anyway. It is a fraction. Sixty-five correct answers. Bears made come back three in a row. Question seventy-one. Who's this? Slowly revealed once again. First letter, first name. Get those answers in quick as you can. Don't let the time run out. Take at least a guess before you let the time run out. Seventy five got in their answers this time. Correct answer, it is Gwyneth Paltrow. How many had it this time? 60 correct answers. Ball of a choice, question 72 here. After which marsupial is the Australian Rugby League team nicknamed? Is it Wallaby, Kangaroo or Springbok? Question 73, multiple choice. Who was the lead singer with the 70s funk soul group, The Family Stone? Is it Smooth, Silk, Sly?
54. It is sly. Apollo highest climber here. 74. Here we are already in the year 315. The Arch of Constantine was built in what capital city? Correct answer, it is or for Rome. How many had it? 50 answering correctly. JT Rocks is making a comeback here. Multiple choice. Which of these women is a character in Shakespeare's As You Like It? Monica, Rachel, Phoebe. They're all names of the Friends characters. Fifty-nine correct answers with Phoebe. Third place not getting that one right. Question seventy-six here. Longshoreman is a North American term for what occupation? Is it doorman, doctor, dentist, docker? Eighty-one correct answers with Docker. LBW is the highest climber. Seven answer streak here now. Multiple choice. Which U.S. government agency was created by the National Security Act of 1947? Was it the FBI, CIA, or the DEA? Fifty-four correct answers with the CIA. Posh just popped into third place here now. At uh, the home stretch here, folks, just a few questions left here. Who is this? First letter, first name, I presume. First letter, first name. Who is this? it's not <laughs> correct answer here David Beckham 66 of you answered this correctly disaster is back with an answer streak of three first letter what is seven eighths of 216 using a digit answer the question what is seven eighths of 216 
Okay, correct answer. All sorts of answers coming into this. Correct answer. 189. 24 correct answers. Okay, so we're down to the last question, I think. Let's see, we might have one more. What chocolate biscuit have or had jokes written on the wrapper? Was it Club Penguin Kit Kat Snickers? Okay, 81 correct answers. It is Penguin. Okay, last few shakes and a few moves. Here's the final question. Before we have two poll questions, which South American capital city is said to have been designed to look from the air like an airplane? Brasilia, Montevideo, San Jose. Forty correct answers. With Brasilia is the correct answer. Okay, so just uh, two poll questions, no points up for grabs. How would you rate this quiz tonight? Not for me. Not bad. Good fun. Excellent. Can't wait for the next one. No points, obviously, up for grabs here. Just general feedback. Okay, 58% of you said excellent. Good fun then as well. Thank you guys. Just one more quick one here. And how would you rate the difficulty of tonight's quiz? Hard, fair, you could make it easier or you could make it harder. Okay, so thank you for your um, feedback. The results, the unofficial results, as I said, we will be posting up the official on the Facebook page at the moment. Looks like he's third. LBW in second. And the winners, unofficially at the moment, is pronounceable. They are the winners. These will be confirmed on our Facebook uh, page, guys. Head over to John O'Connor's smartphone quiz page in about 15 minutes or so for the full results. And, of course, it does uh, add up the scores for anyone who did get disconnected uh, and went back in under the same exact same name. It will add those points together. We'll give you those and more, and we'll decide what we're going to do with that Michael Jackson question as well. Uh, that's all we have for this Thursday. Thank you very much again for coming out. Uh, we're back here every Thursday, as I said, from 9 o'clock. And you can purchase that pin about four days before the quiz. A reminder for tomorrow night as well, the Passage East Hurling Club are having a free quiz. That starts at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Saturday then, Abbeyside and Balnacorti are having uh, a quiz. 10 euros per team. That one starts at quarter past seven. The details will be on the YouTube thumbnail. That's all I have time for tonight. Lads, thanks very much again for coming out in our quarantine quiz. I'll see you for the next one very soon. All right, do have yourselves a good one. Good night.